Welcome back to Shrem's Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss the name number three in the Chaldean numerology. So name number three is according to the male winner mentality. That's how the Chaldean tablets have described it. This means that unlike the number one, which was the feminine winner mentality, meaning they like to outsource and network and get a vast group of people to get things done there, they become major successes as a result. The number three does this in a very different way. They're sequentially into getting everything done on their own, and they have a high level of confidence and action orientation to do so. These people are very knowledgeable. They have a lot of wisdom, and they're very strategic, very cunning. They're very much able to figure out a battle plan and really get things done. It's a very much a militant sort of number and also a number of expansion and growth because it's associated with Jupiter, okay? So there's a very vast set of um, compound numbers up to 52 that I'm gonna be discussing today. And if you do have any of these name numbers, be sure that you do not have a life path of number six. And I would say that's the major one. Number six is gonna be a rival. If you have a life path six, you do not wanna name number three. These guys are going to be in complete opposition and contradict. If you have anything else, leave the description for me in the comments and I'll have to see what your birth number and then your life path number is and compare it to your said name number, depending on which one of the compounds it is. All right, so let's begin. So number 12 is the number of victimhood. It's one, two, three. You get the one, which is about initiation, ownership, independence. The two, which is about being subservient um being sort of in the background and then number three which is all about again being on stage these numbers as much as they're very powerful they contradict as a result people that have number 12 they often experience a lot of anxiety and victimhood in life um they don't end up becoming very successful just due to a high level of mental trauma uh, they're just not able to really collect their thoughts and organize them in the correct sort of way and as a result they end up uh, just being victims to different people for their own agendas um, so if you do have this name number, be very wary of people trying to take advantage of you. Try to have more confidence in your thought process and also look at what reality really is for you. Are you actually the victim or can you become the conqueror? If all of these suggestions that I'm making do not work, then of course change your name number. Like I said in the prior two videos, the name number that I'm describing here is the name that you go by the most. My name is Shem Roy, but I go by Shem. Shem vibrates to 17 over 8. Okay. So you need to make sure that you know what name you're going by the most. This isn't your expression number in Pythagorean, guys. This is your actual name, that your nickname, whatever it is that people call you the most, that the most sound vibration is coming from, that the most mental vibration is focused on. And when you understand what that is, then you know what vibration is controlling your destiny and controlling your luck. All right? Moving on. We have the number 21. This is a very powerful number. Um, this is about getting success through different trials and tribulation um it's just the backwards version of the 12 unlike the 12 it actually does work very well though the chaldean tablets describe this person as climbing up a social a social hierarchy um just in due season these people are able to get things done and have a very militant focus on what they want to get done and they end up really achieving a lot in life whether they work in the corporate world in the sports world in the entertainment world these guys will get success and they'll climb up um, just through process orientation, a high level, high degree of discipline. They're able to do this. They don't have a problem uh, when it comes to just setting their focus on something. But like I said, you need to make sure that your life path and birth number are compatible with this said compound number. Without that being there, you will not achieve things. Unbalanced, this can actually make you still a victim just like the 12 or somebody who always seems to be right at the verge of success, but then it just slips away from you. So that's where you got to be very, very careful. And that's a very big sign that the number compatibility in your chart is unbalanced. And that's where you have to look for a name change of some sort. All right. Next one is the number 30. The number 30 is the number of the philosopher. This is the person that's the everly wise. They're very, very wise people, very intelligent. Um, they could be very worldly famous as well and enjoy all the worldly pleasures due to Jupiter being expanded with them. It's three and then zero. So the zero is actually giving the three that supercharge to make them very, very powerful. However, um, you have to be very wary of maybe um, being a bit too detached from the material realm to the point where you're, you're being a little bit too lax. You're not actually focused on making sure your bills are paid and you have the material comforts that you deserve. Another big thing is you guys sometimes will not have that said discipline. Even though you have the three there, you just use the three for impulsiveness, for being playful, for looking for a good time, a good party, being around the right sets of people, 
having a necessity for being around different social circles. These things will lead to weakness. This could be a very another version of the 30 being unbalanced. But if it's not unbalanced and you have no excuse, your birth and life path number agree with it, then you need to focus your energy on actually just getting something done. You have a very philosophical bend of mind. Focus on something in the artistic realm or the creative writing. You'll be able to do very well there. And with this number, you can get worldly famous and enjoy all the worldly pleasures if you follow the instruction that this number is laid out in the Chaldean tablets. All right. Next one I want to cover is the 39. This, in my opinion, based on just reading them, is the most powerful um, name number for the threes by far. Reason being it's three and then nine. And it, I know it does add to the 12 and so forth. And people will be like, oh, well, that's 12 and that's the victimhood number. No. The three and nine there, because three is of the heavenly triad, it's the beginning of it. The nine is at the end. This gives the person, when Jupiter and Mars sort of conjoin and get together in a number vibration, the numerological world, they make a person that really doesn't fear failure, that really doesn't even care about the end goal. They care about the journey. They're the type of person that will be dying to go to war. Those commandos, those sort of people that really like when they hear about a bomb going off and they say they want to run towards it. These people are very much able to conquer the world. Um, in the corporate world, the business world, um, when it comes to entertainment-wise, fighting, athletics, these people like the idea of war. No matter what it is that they're doing, whether it be something on social media or doing something and even in a humanitarian sequence, they're going to treat it like war. They're going to say, if I'm a humanitarian, I'm warring against the government. If I'm in sports, I'm warring against other teams. We have to be the best. And these people have a lot of endurance. They don't get tired. They're very strategic. And they, I wouldn't say that they're detached, like the 30 from the end result. They definitely want it. But they really appreciate the struggle to get it. And that's what makes them so, so dangerous. They have a sort of wolf mentality in that sense where the more struggle you give them is just the more powerful they're going to get to overcome that said struggle. They really look at it like how life path A's look at life, like that whole bench press. You have to hold it up and you get stronger as you have to push more weight off your chest. They look at it in that same way where they understand that they need to push that weight off. They need to overcome the struggles, the tribulations, the obstacles that come naturally with life but they just really appreciate the negative stuff just as much as the positive. So this is a very rare personality, but if you do have this as your name number, you are destined to be very, very powerful. Um, you advance in success rather quickly. Even if it's slow, you guys really enjoy the process. Just make sure, like I said, don't have a life path six with it. And also um, make sure your birth number and life path number are very compatible with this said double digit. Because if it's not, then it still could lead to certain hindrances. With this number being a little bit of the exception, the 39 will still give you a moderate success, even if it's not balanced with the other numbers like your birth or life path. It will still give you success um, just because you guys enjoy the negatives of life as well. So you guys are sort of like a black hole in that sense where it's, it, it's really hard to defeat somebody that's like that. All right. The last one is the number 48. Um, 48 over 3 is a number that... It's, it's interesting. It's a number that it's, you would think it would be very powerful because it has the four and the eight there. These people have the ability to command audiences. They have the ability to really be really high level in politics, different things like that. However, they, they get a lot of social ridicule. Things turn around on them. Life turns upside down because they have the four there. Four is chaos. The eight is karmic penalty in a certain sense. The eight always makes sure that you you get your karma. Saturn makes sure you get your justice. When it adds to three, it sort of contradicts the three's idea of like freedom of expression and expanding and more of the positive note that three's on. These are two negative sort of malefic sort of planets and numbers that will really hit the three in a, not a good way. Um, Donald Trump has the 48 over three in his Chaldean numbers. He's able to definitely command audience. He was able to get um, votes at a certain point. Whether you like them or not, like I said, I use people that everybody will know, not that everybody's going to like, right? But Trump was able to get certain things done using this number for sure. He was able to have a successful business life and successful political life to a certain extent. That's very highly debatable. But when we look at the end of his career now, all the problems, all the allegations, all these things reflect the four and the eight sort of karmic debt that was ensued upon him. So you have to understand if you have this number, it's going to give you those sort of problems. You have to be very, very careful with getting a lot of fast success, but make sure that you got it in a very just way because if you didn't, it's going to make you suffer. My main recommendation is if you have 48 over 3 as a name number, 
I would just cancel it out, change it in some sort of way, change the way you're spelling your name, change something about it, just simply because it's not gonna give you much success. It'll give you more hindrances than successes, all right? Um, but that should conclude the number three compound numbers for names. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please just leave it in the comments for me. Aside from that, guys, please like, subscribe. Holla me, it's it for today, guys. Peace.